by far the strongest military in the world with the responsibility to maintain the defense of America and its allies and provide peacekeeping forces all over the world. Hell yeah. The United States is home to more than 40 naval bases spread across the eastern and western coasts. Here are the 10 wow. biggest naval bases in the United States based on support population. Hey troops, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ryan. I'm a former Royal Marines commando from the United Kingdom and today we're going to be reacting to the top 10 biggest naval bases in the United States of America. Now, the hint is in the United States of America. I don't think it's going to be talking about the international bases that they have, okay, or they have influence over. Um, so yeah, just to put this into context, we haven't got a lot of naval bases in the United Kingdom. I've pretty much been to all of them, being a former Royal Marines commando. We do get to spend some time with the Navy, and uh, well, quite a bit of time, actually. So, yeah, there's not that many, to be honest with you. There's a few little ones dotted about, but in terms of the main ones, you've got Portsmouth, you've got Plymouth, you've got one or two in Scotland. That's pretty much it, guys. But today, it's all about the United States. Troops, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Literally, most of my subscriber base comes from the USA, so thank you guys. I really do love you all. That's why I've got the flags behind me. Let's get into it. For reference, I don't know any of these bases. Um, at least I can't name any at this moment in time. Number one, Naval Station Norfolk. Never heard of it. Naval Station Norfolk, the world's biggest naval base, is situated in southeastern Virginia in the Sewell's Point Peninsula of Norfolk City. Wow, the world's biggest. The base was established in 1917 and covers an area of approximately 3,400 acres. The base provided trading for U.S. and Allied naval air units during World War II and currently houses 149,000 personnel, including active duty, family members and dependents, reservists, Department of Defense civilians, and joint forces. 149,000. To give you a bit of context, just that base alone, our United Kingdom military stands at about 79,000. Holistically speaking as well, that's the Army, Navy and Air Force all together, about 79,000 active serving personnel just uh, yeah the naval station norfolk ensures operational readiness of the u.s atlantic fleet by providing facilities and installation services for the biggest concentration of the u.s navy including 75 ships and 134 aircraft unbelievable number two the joint base pearl harbor hickam Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, located 13 kilometers west of Honolulu, has more than 55,000 Marines and their families, as well as over 5,000 Air Force members and their families. The US wow, so on that base alone, 50,000 Marines, we're about four or 5,000 strong at the moment in the UK, Royal Marines. Um, that dwarfs us, and that's just one area, one base. The Navy set up the naval base at Pearl Harbor in 1908, occupying a famous role in World War II. It occupies 27,694. Look at that. That looks absolutely incredible, man. Imagine being based there. That's got to be like one of the world's greatest military drafts, right? Acres of land and forms a vital element of the U.S. defense, providing mooring, shoreside support, and maintenance to surface fleet and submarines, in addition to supporting air operations in the Pacific and Asian regions. Pearl Harbor is home to more than 160 commands, as well as 11 ships, 19 submarines and aircraft, including the C-17 Globemaster III, KC-135 Stratotanker, and the F-22 Raptor. Number three, Naval Air Station Jacksonville. Naval Air Station Jacksonville is the biggest Navy base in the Southeast region and third largest in the US. The base received the 2013 Commander, Navy Installations Commander Excellence Award for the best large installation in the U.S. NAS Jacksonville was established in 1940 in Duval County near the bank of the St. Johns River in Northeast Florida. Wow. The base is spread over an area of about 3,400 acres. It currently accommodates 53,590 people, including non-appropriated fund employees, federal employees, Department of Defense personnel, contract employees, and family members. 
This is crazy because all of these numbers, what I'm noticing is a bit of a theme here. No matter where these naval bases are, they seem to be of a similar strength to the, the United Kingdom's entire military. So we're spread out, you know, among among the whole of the United Kingdom and some countries ashore as well, you know, further afield. The, these these areas are, are massive, are absolutely massive. They can literally house the entire British military and other militaries around the world as well. And this is just a naval base. It's um, really blowing my brains away, this like. The Naval Air Station Jacksonville trains airmen for meeting high impact warfighter needs and also supports US and allied troops specializing in anti-submarine warfare. Number four. Naval Base San Diego. Now, Naval Base San Diego, I did drive past this when I was on a trip with the with the Royal Marines, actually. We were in a bit of leave time, um, post-operational tour leave, pottle, as we'd say. And I'm pretty sure we drove past this absolute mammoth of a place. Naval Base San Diego in California serves as a primary home port. Look at that, man. San Diego is a great place. For the Pacific Fleet, it accommodates 48,000 military and civilian personnel, making it the fourth biggest naval base in the U.S. The U.S. Navy established a destroyer base in the city of San Diego in 1922. The base was renamed Repair Base San Diego during World War II and performed the overhaul, repair, and maintenance of more than 5,117 ships between 1943 and 1945. The base saw a major expansion during the Korean War and currently occupies an area of more than 2,000 acres. Naval Base San Diego is home to approximately 180 individual commands and 57 ships from the U.S. Navy, Coast Guard, and Military Sea Lift Command. It's also home port to the U.S. Navy's modern surface combatants, littoral combat ships. Wow, this is amazing. Number five, Naval Base Kitsap. Kitsap. Never heard of it. Naval Base Kitsap on the Kitsap Peninsula is home to more than 45,000 on duty and support personnel, including 12,825 active duty members, 14,071 civilian employees, and 18,700 family members. Wow. The base was formed by combining the former. Ah, uh, right. So a lot of these bases, the numbers comprise of like family members as well. So. I take it back when I said they're, you know, similar size to our British military because not all of the people there are actually serving in the military. But still, those numbers are pretty humongous. Naval Station Bremerton and Naval Submarine Base Banger in 2004 and supports the U.S. Navy fleet operating across West Puget Sound. The Naval Base Kitsap serves the surface vessels and submarines based at Bremerton and Bangor. It's also connected with Puget Sound Naval Shipyard, where the majority of vessels and submarines are overhauled. Number six. Oh, what's this? NAS Corpus Christi. Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. Naval Air Station Corpus Christi, situated on the southeast side of Corpus Christi, Texas, accommodates 43,287 personnel, including active duty members, employees, retirees, and family members. Naval Air Station Corpus Christi was commissioned in March 1941 and trained 35,000 naval aviators by the end of World War II. Wow. It was the only facility providing primary, basic, and advanced training in the U.S. and trains about 600 aviators each year. The Naval Air Station is home to Training Air Wing 4 and Corpus Christi Army Depot, serving the rotary wing aircraft of the U.S. Department of Defense. The base maintains facilities to support aviation training and other missions. So it's primarily aviation focused then. Number seven, Naval Station Mayport. Naval Station Mayport has a base population of 34,315 and occupies 3,409 acres on the banks of the St. Johns River. Look at that aircraft carrier. You know, Britain just doesn't have this kind of capability. Certainly not the capability that the United States has. You've got these things dotted about all over the place. We struggle to have like two in service at any given time. It's mental, the capabilities that we don't have in Britain. And I think we've got like a massive chip on our shoulders from our historic 
um, record. Yes, we were good in the past. Yes, we've done a lot of great things with, you know, limited kit and equipment. But, you know, we've got numbers in the British military now that haven't been seen since the Napoleonic War days. And it's, um, sorry, post-Napoleonic War. And they the dwindled down so much so that we're, you know... <laughs> Technically, not even an active. Uh, we technically don't even have to be classed as a military. We're more of a. Um, what's the word? I mean, there's gangs bigger than the British military around the world. Let's get it straight. We're about 24 kilometers east of Jacksonville. Naval Station Mayport includes a busy seaport and an airfield. The naval base was formally commissioned in December 1942 and served as a strategic asset during the Cuban Missile Crisis, Operation Desert Shield. Operation Desert Storm, Operation Desert Fox, and Operation Allied Force. The base is home to 70 tenant units, 20 naval vessels, and six helicopter squadrons, and houses up to 34 ships. The runway of the naval station can accommodate all types of aircraft in the DoD inventory. Wow. Number 8. Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth. Naval Air Station them. Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth houses 27,098 personnel, right, those are Marines. including active duty members, reserves, family members, as well as federal and civilian employees. The base was set up in October 1994 as the first joint... Wow, so it's quite a new base then, in comparison to all the other bases that we've heard. Most of them are like World War II era bases. Reserve base in the U.S. and hosts a variety of units from the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Army, and Texas Air National Guard. The base was set up in October 1994 as the first joint reserve base in the U.S. and hosts a variety of units from the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Army, and Texas Air National Guard. Right, so here's a question for those who might know the answer. Is this base, although it's a naval base, technically a U.S. Marine base as well? Is this somewhere where you could be stationed if you are a U.S. Marine? I know they've got personnel there, but is it specifically for the reasons of being a Marine, or is it for an attachment, a detachment type scenario? The Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth accommodates 40 separate commands and supports the training activities of troops in all branches of the armed services. The base supports the operations of C-40 Clipper, F-16 Fighting Falcon, C-130 Hercules, F-A-18 Hornet, KC-130 Hercules, and RC-12 aircraft. Number 9. Naval Base Coronado. Coronado. Naval Base Coronado, the largest command in the Southwest, is home to 27,000 military and civilian personnel. The base occupies more than 57,000 acres, including airfields, ports, and training ranges. The Naval Base Coronado is formed of eight naval installations, including Naval Air Station North Island, Naval Amphibious Base Coronado, Naval Outlying Landing Field Imperial Beach, Naval Auxiliary Landing Field... San Hang on a minute. That looks weird. You see that plane in the right... Like, look at this. It's not moving. What, what? Am I, like, please tell me if I'm being absolutely stupid. Coronado, here. Naval it's not on Outlying the runway. Landing Field, Imperial Beach, <laughs> Naval Auxiliary <laughs> Landing <What>? Field, San. <laughs> right, are you seeing what I'm seeing here with this? Right, let's look at this one more time. Please tell me I'm not an absolute loser. In North Island, Naval What's Amphibious Base, Coronado, Naval Outlying Landing Field, Imperial Beach, Naval Auxiliary Landing Field, San Clemente <laughs> Island. Silver Strand Training Complex, oh Mountain God. Warfare Training Camp. Right. Michael. I seen Luke Gillen's original human reacting to this the other day. I wonder if he spotted that. Let me know in the chat if he spotted that because <laughs> that's weird, man. Well, Mansoor, Camp Morena, and remote training that's site weird. Warner Springs. That's took me off the video. The plane wasn't moving in midair. Number ten, Naval Air Station Patuxent River. Naval Air Station Patuxent River is located on a peninsula between the Chesapeake... Looks pretty beautiful, right? For a naval base, they're all, I mean, they're all pretty grim, grim and grey looking in the United Kingdom. Trust me, guys. But that is pretty good. That's pretty good. Enough. You wouldn't mind being based there, right? Bay and Patuxent River. The base occupies 6,400 acres of land and houses 24,700 people, making it the 10th biggest naval base in the U.S. Naval Air Station Patuxent River was commissioned in April 1943 with the primary mission of providing operational support and services for aircraft and ship or shore electronics. 
The base records more than 165,000 aircraft movements per year. It's home to more than 50 tenant commands and is controlled by the Naval District Washington. It hosts the Naval Air Systems Command and the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division Headquarters. America's got such a good military, man. They don't waste any money. They just pour it all into the military. That was a fantastic video. You know what I like about you guys? If it needs doing, you'll do it. Yeah, what's the price? Yeah, so what? We'll do it anyway. Um, that kind of infrastructure that you've got on your local shores over there is just quite simply um, unbelievable. It's impressive as hell. I can't get my head around it still. If you really put the numbers into context, like our British military, it's... I'm kind of upset with it, really. It's sad that well, our numbers have dwindled down to such historic lows. And, uh, yeah, what you guys have got in the United States really does make you formidable, all right? And it stops people messing with you guys. You have the ability to be able to adapt and overcome most situations militarily across the globe, fighting on multiple fronts at the same time. We just couldn't do that. We couldn't sustain... Um, I think we'd even struggle to sustain a defensive operation in the United Kingdom now based on those numbers and uh yeah it's just a, it's a shame but you know that was a great video top 10 biggest naval bases in the united states of america troops if you want to help me out please consider becoming a member you can press the join button or join us on patreon pretty simple to do make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel i am on route to try and get 400,000 subscribers pretty soon if we can get that then we're aiming for half a million but troops i need your help Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.